So you still denied them? More disappointed. I mean, we've only been married a few days. I thought we'd agreed to stop keeping things from each other. I know, and I'm sorry. I was just trying to protect you. Well, from the angst? Again? Yeah, well, I've told you, you don't need to do that. Look, this is different. If the police found out that you knew about Budapest, then you'd be compromised too. I didn't want you getting banged up for perversing the course of justice. Well, but you're happy to take that risk yourself, are you? Well, you got in touch with me. He's my best mate. What could I do? From now on, you tell me stuff. Fine. Okay. Full disclosure. But he's met someone. Doesn't say how serious it is. Well, he wouldn't mention it if it wasn't serious. We have to tell Vic. He doesn't want to do that. It'll break her heart. I don't care what Adam wants. She's spending money on a private investigator to try and track him down. She has a right to know that she's wasting her time. You're expecting someone? Yeah. Glenn Howell. You might know him. He was an ex-copper with Houghton Police. His name doesn't ring a bell. Why are you meeting him? She's hoping he can help her find something. Don't know. What? It's my first day back at work, you know. Good for you. Yeah, couldn't keep hiding away forever. Though I'm not sure I remember exactly what a bartender does. It's just first day nerves, she'll be fine. I told you, nothing was stolen. But someone still broke into your office and you and Robert haven't reported it. It's probably kids. That's what Robert reckons. Why should kids be let off the hook? Usual, please. And that is... Pint and a white wine. Good news. I found out where Adam is. Wow, that was fast. Well, I got lucky. Um, he's in Portugal. And you know that for sure? Well, I made contact with a bloke that's helping him move around since he left Amsterdam. And he's back in the UK at the moment and we'll have a meeting with him this afternoon. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. There's a catch. Look, I, I hate to bring money into this, but he won't tell us the exact location until we pay him. And he wants five grand. What? That was my reaction. But apparently he's taking some big risk by helping us. Look, if you're not sure about this, I'll just cancel the meeting. No, no, it's, it's okay. I think I can raise the money. You right? I will be once I find Adam. What? You know what he is? I will when I've handed this over. Not quite five grand, but near enough. It's a lot of cash. Well, I saw my mum's wedding ring and a few other bits and bobs. So why didn't you tell me about this? I am his mum. Oh, some mother. Where is he? He's in Portugal. And who told you that? What? You got off with him? I am if you get out my way. You only met him yesterday. How do you know you can trust him? What do you know about trust? All right, let's talk about it. Why would I want to talk? If you hadn't lied to the police, I'd never be home by now and she'd be locked up where she belongs. Vic. This has got nothing to do with either of yours. So just back off. So Adam's in Portugal. I think it's he isn't. He isn't? No way near. So you knew about this and you hadn't told me? He's in Budapest, and you didn't let me know. They told me not to. He's not there anymore. He moved on as soon as you sent the message. Hey, have you seen Victoria? Uh, yeah, she went off with that bloke. Who? That PI. Glenn, ex-police officer, apparently. Yeah, so he says. Where did they go? I think there was talk of Portugal. Why does Vic reckon Adam's in Portugal? It's what the private investigator told her. When, in fact, everyone but me knows he's been the other side of Europe. Where did he take her? I don't know, but she had five grand in her bag. A legitimate private detective would not want that amount in cash. Maybe I should look into him. Yeah, thanks. Well, there, don't worry. I've made sure he can't rip her off. Managed to get the money out of her bag without noticing. Vic's gone off with some lowlife, empty-handed. I don't understand what it is you're smiling about. You idiot. Anything could happen to her. 